Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome to this morning's meditation on the Peace and Love page with me, Deanne. I hope you're feeling good this morning. And if you're not, then these, this meditation will help you ease into the day or the afternoon or the evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm just slightly messy this morning because I'm not fully ready yet, but I'm obviously here to be with all of you and to guide you into this morning's meditation. Please say hi, where you're tuning in from. I've got some water instead of coffee this morning um, and I'm gonna start my day with water instead of coffee, I think now, <laughs> even if it's decaf. I found out some things yesterday, um, health-wise, um, after watching uh, um, a really well-known health expert and so I'm changing a few things. I'm refining my own diet and eating habits now to boost my health even further because it's so important, just generally, this time especially, but just generally anyway, that we really look after ourselves. How are you all finding the meditations? And um, have you been tuning in regularly or are you... Are you just finding this this morning? Are you a new meditator? These meditations are sponsored by the Peace and Love page and their website, which is www.peace-and-love.co.uk. Please check that out. I'm Diane. I'm your guide, your meditation guide this morning and Philip Wade is here on Saturday evenings at 8 p.m. and some Wednesday evenings now as well at 8 p.m. I think so do check those out and there'll be details of that on the page as well um, and you can connect with me on Facebook at Deanne Awakening Love or Deanne G my other page um, I also have a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos on now on various different subjects so you can check those out. All my information will go in the comments box below this video so do check that out. Um, and um, yeah, and I also have a website as well which is www.awakeninglove.co.uk so please do check that out if you're interested. It's being updated actually at the moment, but it will be, um, it'll be up to date soon. So good morning, everybody. That's enough, <laughs> enough information from me. How are you all? Um, please say hi, where you're tuning in from, how are you feeling? Um, I have a, quite a strong sense now. Um, I was tuning into this yesterday um, that things are going to change again pretty soon so I think there are going to be some um, some changes on our circumstances quite soon so I think we'll we'll all be experiencing a bit more freedom possibly by the end of the month and um, that's what I was picking up yesterday so um, yeah so just you know at the moment take this time to really look after yourselves Maybe to plan a little bit now for what you actually want to be doing once things begin to move and change again. Of course, we won't be living in the same world we were living in before this, but you know that's all part of the the great plan of of life, isn't it? The change is always happening, change is always consistent, and we can't hold on to things being the same for too long because of course things will things will change massively. And um, we're living in a time now where things are changing inside ourselves and outside in a big way. So, um, yeah, it's time to plan a little bit for what you want to be doing as we move out of this phase and into a new phase. It's time to really focus on our health and well-being, not just because of the situation, but because we need to do that anyway. And this is a bit of a wake-up call for most of us, isn't it? To refine our diets, refine what we're eating, refine our exercise and how we spend our time. So, you know, use this time wisely for yourselves. Um, make sure that you're getting time to relax, that you're cleaning your homes, your spaces, your gardens. Um, you know, really just 
give everywhere a good clear out um, spend time in meditation with me in the mornings because that will help clear your mind out <laughs> you know so it's a big cleansing that's happening at the moment inner and an outer cleansing so yeah spend time in in your homes clearing out your clothes your your wardrobes your stuff that you don't want or don't need just let it all go bring in the new energy i like lighting incense and i like lighting sage so you know use that and whiz the sage around each room um and you know say some prayers if you're open to that of course and and just put an intention into your homes and into your spaces and into your gardens for what you want to bring about into your lives at this time because you know it is a time, this time of going inwards is also a time of creation. It's also a time of rebirth, um, of resurrection, if you like, because that really is what's been happening. I think we've all been experiencing this for hmm, near on 40 days almost now. So there is some context with that, of course. And we are in Easter. I know some places aren't in Easter yet, Um depends where you are in the world but um so yeah use this time wisely go within clear out your spaces your homes you know your kitchen cupboards do all those jobs that perhaps you haven't had time to do or you've never thought about doing or you've just been too busy to get on with um fill your hearts and minds with with good stuff you know watch inspiring things watch encouraging things read and watch encouraging and inspiring things don't fill your heads full of the news and um, all that stuff because it will get to you at some point you want to keep your mind clear uh, you know and just be in tune with what what's happening for you Um, things will continue in the world as they are doing but just keep tuning in to yourself Keep tuning into what you want to create in your life and what you want to, um, you know, what you want to be, do and have after this. Um, you know, how do you want your life to look? Is it going to look the same as it did before? Or have you made some major decisions now about what you actually want to do with your life? So, yeah, as I said, use the time wisely. We're soon coming out of this now. I feel it deep within my being. Probably the end of the month, things will start to change quite massively. Um, I could be wrong, but that's my feeling. So I'm going to go with that. I feel like something's shifting, the energy's moving, things are changing. So, um, yeah, I feel it very strongly. I don't know if any of you feel that too, but that's what I'm feeling. I'm just going to look at your comments. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. So lovely to have you all here. Good morning, Spain. Good morning, Florida. Good morning, Northern Ireland. Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, boredom can often be that feeling of just doing nothing. But in doing nothing and not being busy, we can actually really learn a lot about who we are so there is this sense of this is boring but if you really go within yourself you'll find some treasure in that in that you know the boredom is really it's the mind it's what the mind is telling you about the situation is it really boring or is it your thoughts about the situation that are making it boring there is a difference um you know the mind will always go to the problem it will always go to the issue it will always try and get you to look at something in a way where there's a problem so it can solve the problem and then create another one so you're on this constant roller coaster of solving problems making problems and solving them again and that's how the mind draws you in but actually you know don't let yourself be drawn in by that just feel that boredom you know is it really boredom or is it the story that the mind is telling you about the situation um you know find things to to um create be creative but also sit in meditation with me this morning and feel how it feels to be in that space of non-doing of non-happening of non-rushing around of you know, no busyness, just to be, just to simply be. We are beings, we're not doings. We're not human doings, we're human beings. 
So if you can be more of what you are and embrace more of just relaxing into this instead of fighting it, that's the other thing that the mind will do. We'll try to fight the situation rather it was like this or it's boring i'd rather it was like that or you know can it be another way or when's it going to end or whatever the story is that the mind will create and that will put you constantly in this space of everything's not okay where i am but if you just sit tune in like we did yesterday if you sit and tune in with these meditations you will know very very quickly that everything is actually perfectly okay right now in this moment and that it simply is a question of mind creating problems where there aren't any and looking into the future to create fear or looking into the past to create suffering. So be here, be here, be present. Um, I hope that's helped you to understand what's going on there. Um, I'm just going to read a few more comments. Good morning, Dallas. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad that I'm a, a sense of peace for you. Thank you for sharing that with me. Good morning. I think that's German. I can read a little bit of it. Um, thank you. <laughs> Love to you in Germany, possibly. Um, good. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Lovely comments. So, um... Yeah, so use this time. It's a gift. You know, this time is actually a gift. It's a gift for you to tune into yourself, to be present with yourself, to look at your life in all its wonderful manifestations and to decide if there are things in your life that you still want to create in the same way or if it's time to make some changes, if it's time to do something differently, to create something new you know, to leave that job or move house or go get that flight, you know, as things move and change. Um, you know, what's been holding you back? Maybe after this, nothing will be holding you back. Just look at how you want your life to flourish. Uh, and, and not in a way of, no, I'm sad because it's not like that. No, just come from a place of creation. Come from a place of how can I flourish how can i thrive in my life what do i want to bring into my life now you know what can i bring into my life this moment and the answer to that is peace and joy and balance and you do that through meditation and it's it's a it's a continual process every day to tune in to what is the truth to tune in to yourself every day is one of the most powerful things you can do because it tunes you in to your highest and greatest wisdom ultimately. That's what happens through meditation. That's why I sound wise at times and not all oh, this. <laughs> um, no, seriously though, it does. It tunes you in to your inner wisdom, your inner truth and, um, you know, meditation is a gift so use this time wisely right um so if you all want to find a space to lie down or sit with your back straight preferably um it's not going to be a long meditation today but it's still going to be a powerful meditation so if you can sit with your back straight or if you want to lie down, you can also do that too. Um, it's entirely up to you. Whatever's easiest for you at this time of day, depending on where you are in the world right now. Um, good job I'm not too bothered about my hair, isn't it? <laughs> I know it looks a mess. Anyway. Um, yeah, so find a comfortable space. Lie down or sit up. Um, and we're just going to do a short meditation today. So this is all together. This will be under an hour for you to watch. And um, let's start by just taking a breath together. So placing your hand in the middle of your chest and just breathing in with me. And breathing out. And we'll do another one of those, breathing in 
I'm breathing out. Okay. And just notice how you're feeling right now. Maybe you've got all kinds of things going on in the body. Maybe you've just woken up. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you've got lots of feelings and sensations and maybe there's lots of things going on in the body. But can you just feel that for this moment? Can you just be still and feel that? Just notice the breath. Notice how the body's feeling. Notice if you're relaxed. Notice if the body's relaxed, if your mind is relaxed or busy with stuff. Are your shoulders relaxed? Is your breathing relaxed? What about your face? Does your face feel relaxed? Have you got tightness around your jaw or somewhere or in your forehead? Are you frowning or worried? And just inwardly say to yourself, I relax now. Or you can say it out loud if you want to. Or you can just say it within yourself. I'm relaxing now. I'm relaxing now. I'm relaxing now. I'm letting go of stress. I'm letting go of stress. I'm letting go of stress. My shoulders are relaxed. My shoulders are relaxed. My shoulders are relaxed. My body is relaxed. My body is relaxed. My body is relaxed. My mind is quiet. My mind is quiet. My mind is quiet. And just notice what's happening as you are voicing these affirmations to yourself. And here's a good one as well. I mean, they're all good, but. I create the life I love. I create the life I love. I create the life I love. I just say that out loud to yourself or within yourself. I am love. I am love. I am love. And another wonderful one, I am loved, I am loved, I am loved. Let's stop that negative mind speak, shall we? The negative talk that most of you experience on a daily basis about yourselves. Let's just put a stop to that and replace it with some positive affirmations. Use this time today to create some positive affirmations for yourself. Things that you can say to yourself that are uplifting, encouraging, inspiring and kind. Kind. Be kind to you. Be kind to you, especially at this time. Okay, so now we're going to close our eyes and we're going to go into the meditation. So I'm going to close my eyes as well and just listen to the sound of my voice. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. And just allowing everything to settle. Noticing that your shoulders are relaxed body's relaxed and easy 
And you're just being natural. Eyes closed gently. Breathing easily. Calmly. With each breath, relaxing the body more and more. Not breathing too deeply, just breathing easily. As you breathe easily, just notice the calm as you bring your attention inwards within your own body and your own being. Some breaths might be a little deeper as you relax more deeply. As the relaxation spreads throughout your body. And just become very aware in this moment that right here, now, with the sound of my voice and your breath, there are no problems. As you continue to breathe easily, gently, there's no worries in this moment. There's no concerns about anything because the recognition that all is perfect, that all is in divine order is available to see, to notice, right here, right now. And it's very clear As you bring your attention to the breath, there's less energy for the mind, for the thought. As we move our focus, we move our influence on our experience. So bringing the focus to the breath, and the body means that we're immediately aware of ourselves as we are. Our future self is an idea and our past self 
is also an idea. It becomes very apparent that I am existing here and now. Not in any other moment, just simply in this moment that presents itself as I'm speaking, as you're breathing, as you're relaxing. And in this moment, there is peace. There is calm. There is balance, contentment. Meditation will expand this realization, this knowing. into all areas of your life, into all moments, into all now, all of now. Giving your body permission to relax. This relaxation and stillness or your natural state of being. This is naturally what you are. Notice that nothing is forced, nothing is being held on to, nothing is being pushed away. You are simply open, open awareness. Breathing. Breathing, noticing, feeling what is here, not an idea of what's here, but what is truly here. This peace that you're feeling right now, this is always available to you. Because it's what you are. It's not separate from you, it's what you are.
continuing to breathe easily and gently. And you can just be natural. Breathing in, breathing out. And gently opening your eyes now. You can stretch if you want to. And that's, that's the truth of who you are, is that space of relaxation, of peace, of contentment. Did you notice that? Were you able to notice that? So have a blessed day, all of you, or evening or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me. I'll be here again tomorrow. Um, please connect with me on my page, Deanne Awakening Love or Deanne G. Please check out my website, www.awakeninglove.co.uk. Um, I'm available to work with you one-to-one, -one, should you wish to. I would love to work with some of you, so if you'd like to, let me know. These meditations are sponsored by the Peace and Love page and their website. 
which is www.peace-and-love.co.uk and Philip will be here on Saturday evening at 8pm and I think he's here on some Wednesday evenings now and all those details will all be in the comments no doubt. Look out for my details in the comments as well after this um, video goes uh, on the page and I'll be here again at 8am British summer time London time tomorrow um, please arrive early uh, much love to you all wherever you are and I hope this has gone some way to helping you remember the peace that you have within you and um, yeah have a beautiful day <laughs> bye